using algebraic expressions in math formulas and rules. Examples Today we will learn examples related to the use of algebraic expressions in the formulas and rules of mathematics. Till now, we learned about mathematical formulas and rules. In this video, we will understand them better with the help of examples. Example 1. If the area of a rectangle is 20 square centimetre and its length is 5 centimetre, what will be its width? Let's solve it together. The formula for the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by width. If written through an algebraic expression, the area of a rectangle will be L multiplied by B, where L represents length and B width. We are given that the area of this rectangle is 20 square centimetre and its length is 5 centimetre. Now, we place these values in the formula for the area of the rectangle. As we have just seen, that the area of the rectangle is L multiplied by B. That is, 20 is equal to 5 times B. Now we will get 20 is equal to 5B. Now we will divide both sides by 5. 20 by 5 is equal to 5B by 5. That will get us 4 is equal to B. Hence, the width of this rectangle will be 4 cm. Let us now see an example related to the number pattern. Observe the increasing order of the given figure of M and represent it in number pattern. Here, in the given figure of M shape, there are 4 math sticks in the first figure. But, 3 3 math sticks are being added to each growing figure. As we can see, that the first M has 1 additional math stick in comparison to the rest. To make a number pattern of the increasing order of the shape of given M, if we consider the number of math sticks as a term, we can see that 4 math sticks in the first figure, 7 in the second, 10 in the third and 13 in the fourth have been used. We can also show them as follows. 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1. 7 is equal to 1 plus 3 multiplied by 2. 10 is equal to 1 plus 3 multiplied by 3. 13 is equal to 1 plus 3 multiplied by 4. A similar expression for the space of n would be 1 plus 3 multiplied by n is equal to 1 plus 3n. Here, n represents the total number of shapes of m. With the help of this expression, we can find the total number of math sticks required to make n shapes of m. The number pattern of this pattern of m shape will be 4, 7, 10, 13 and 1 plus 3n. Where the first term is 4, the second term is 7, the third term is 10, the fourth term is 13 and similarly, the n term will be 1 plus 3n. Many times, seeing the two shapes of M, we misunderstand the number of math sticks as 4 plus 4 instead of 4 plus 3. And in the increasing order also, we keep making the mistake which gives us a wrong number pattern. Today we learned examples related to the use of algebraic expressions in mathematics formulas and rules. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to them. Thank you.